was a clear sunny day on 15th of April 1946 when a 5 engine B-17G Flying Fortress, a true Frankenstein in the sky, model number 299Z, flew into the sky with a very loud sound of a turboprop jet engine. This was no ordinary B-17. It was the most powerful B-17 ever produced in terms of speed and power. While a normal B-17 had four engines and each one producing a 1200 horsepower and taking up to a maximum horsepower of 4800 combined, but this particular B-17G had an extra jet engine mounted in the nose in place of Bombardier. This was the XT-35 Typhoon turboprop jet engine which produced 6000 shaft horsepower alone. It took the combined horsepower to a whopping 10,800 horsepower, or double its original power. This modification made this B-17 a very loud plane over the normal B-17s, and nobody could believe that this was in fact a B-17, producing that noise. This Frankenstein was so powerful than the average B-17 that all the other engines could be shut off and feathered. During testing, it was found that the B-17 could fly over its maximum dive speed of 360 miles per hour in a straight line. It has the same speed of an early 109 or Focke-Wulf from the German Luftwaffe. The jet engine was floated down to prevent the aircraft from tearing itself apart due to overspeeding. But the question here is, why create such a plane in the first place? During the early years of World War II, the B-17 had proven itself to be one of the best, if not the best bomber in the world. With the ability to carry 2200 kilograms of payload, cruise at the altitude of 30,000 feet, of a maximum speed of 318 miles per hour, it was a brilliant design. However, World War II technology was rapidly advancing. The German had started development on the jet-powered aircraft and America wanted something bigger and more powerful to counter it. This eventually led the Americans to the development of the B-29 Super Fortress to direct upgrade the B-17 Flying Fortress that America needed for the later years of the World War II and beginning of the Korean War. During this time, subsonic and supersonic fighter jets were also being developed alongside the B-29 Super Fortress. But they all needed a test platform before being put into a production. This B-17 would serve as the test bed for the engines of many iconic propeller-driven aircraft and jets of the future. The Wright J-65 turbojet engines used by the Douglas A Skyhawk, Grunman F-11 Tiger and the Martin B-57 Canberra were also first tested on this B-17G. The B-17 Flying Fortress would survive the engine test and go on to live in a museum. By the midst of the October in 1978, a tornado would blow over the Bradley Air Museum, tearing the B-17 in half. The plane that had paved the path for the future American aviation was now dead. However, the pieces were not scrubbed Several years later, the wreck would be sold to a restoration company and after 12 years, the B-17 would become the Liberty Bell every year again. On the morning of 13th June 2011, during a routine flight, a crack in the fuel tank would cause a fuel leak starting an in-flight fire. But the crew managed to land the plane in a corn fleet and all seven crew went out safely. Even though the B-17 had managed to land, the ground was incredibly muddy and the fire engines couldn't get close to the burning Liberty Bell. Sadly, nothing could be done. The crew watched as their B-17 burned itself to pieces 72 years after it was first made and after being restored from a complete wreck. The amazing Frankenstein B-17G was now gone for good. Even in its last moments, the flying quarters managed 
to get the crew home safe before perishing, just like when it was first made during the World War II. A true testament to the survivability and durability of the legendary B-17. To watch more videos of B-17 and other bombers from World War II, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Cheers.